Alrighty, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It's time for a review of the Katuo Illusion uh, in titanium and M390 through the Lefty Pass Around Group. Guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go over to Instagram, check out Knives Fast, and join us on a Monday night for KF Live at 745, the best live stream on the internet. I'm just going to keep saying that. Uh, yeah. May or may not be true, but it is true to me. Anyway, I'm just kidding. So, here we go. This is the Katuo Illusion. So, I'm going to start off by saying... Well, why do I keep bringing that back up? Uh, I'm going to start off by saying that this knife really intrigues me. This knife is one that when I saw it, I'm like, oh, wow. Because this looks like some sort of Vulcan spaceship. You know, it, it looks like something out of Star Trek or something. You've got this cool uh, cutout, you know, kind of dip back here, uh, chamfer, if you will. You've got this cut and hole here. You've got these lines, chamfers here. You've got this crazy fuller that comes out the top. You've got this sort of pointy wing back here and cutouts here. You've got everything. But the coolest thing about this knife is the look of it when it's open. Because you've got this flow here and then it flows back down to this line right here and so you see it's got this cool and then yeah it's just beautiful um not normally my style you guys know that i'm not a big one on recurves i'm not a big one on compound ground blades and i'm not really a big one on kind of these nouveau spacecraft alien knives if you will but uh, this, there was just something about it. And then I got to tell you, when you put it in your hand, it feels pretty good. There's a, the, the clip does kind of hit me a little bit. And this kind of angle right here hits me a little bit. But man, it's a good four finger knife. You do have a place to choke up. Feels really good. And I know I'm doing everything out of order, but the jimping is good. Everything feels really, really nice. So where does this knife miss for me? Because it does. Um, we'll get there. But you do have titanium. You do have a blue nice pivot collar on both sides. You have a titanium clip. You have a frame lock with a lock bar interface and over travel stop. And again, the finishing on this. Look at your backspacer. You got jimping on your backspacer. The Katuo name back there. You have a lanyard pin in the backspacer. There's just so many details about this that just pop out and you're like, I mean, just the contouring and everything about this knife. You just look at it and you're like, wow. But um, it misses for me because, guys, there's no, I, I don't really understand why we have this cutout back here when there's no, like, flipper tab or anything here. And then as far as access to that fuller for flicking, I'm going to just turn it around. Your finger goes... I can't, can I turn my hand this way? I can't. Um, but your finger goes right there at the edge of this. It, you know, I, I love, again, function over form for sure. You can definitely get it. Matter of fact, let's just show it. Look at that. And the detent is tuned perfectly. It's just not a comfortable position. I have to really kind of choke back, get my hands sort of back out of whack here, put my finger right in there and just, man, it is tight on that detent and so you just and you can't really go up if you do you, yeah well you know i just did casey so you can do it up there it's just not comfortable um it just is it's tight i'm squishing my finger back it actually hurts my th fingernail just a little bit there um the tip of my finger um just wish it had a little easier access, and I wasn't right on the tip of my fingernail there. And you can see it's kind of beating my fingernail up and turning it red and white and everything else. Um, and then on this side, you can't really do it. I mean, you can't thumb flick it. Now, this thing is, I'm just going to say it, it's bad. Uh, <laughs> you have a swedge on it. You do have good jimping on it. Does it work as a front flipper? Yep. I mean, it does. It works. Guys, but this tab doesn't need to be that big. I get it. You're trying to make it look like a spaceship. It's just too big. And that's why this cut is here. Really, it's warning you, stay back from there. Because I got to tell you, 
when I was focusing the other day on trying to thumb flick this, I had my hand up here and I was trying to thumb flick it out of the, I mean, thumb flick it out of the hole. So I was like this. And this sucker came back and got me like that and pinched the ever loving snot out of my finger. It was pinched in there. The fat of my finger, it hurt like crap. Same thing goes for this. When you're doing this, stay back. But more importantly, if you're front flipping, you got to stay back. My, you know, it feels really good to try to front flip this up here. But you got to be back, guys. And to be honest with you, I go way back because this thing makes me nervous. Um, it just sticks out way too high. It's unnecessary. It should have been cut off, you know, much further back. Does it look cool? Sure, but I'm a function over form guy, or preferably function and form fitting together in harmony. Uh, that's where I am. Now, there's one other issue with this knife. And again, I'm only aware Katuo sent this to Kevin as far as I know, and I should be the second reviewer. Cutting with this has been not good. Uh, you can see there, it, it just catches like crazy. It is a thin hollow grind. It's in M390. It should not be like that. You do have this thicker portion out here to give you a tip. Uh, but man, it just does not. I mean, you're. Ugh, look at that. I'm having to force it through. It is not a great cutter. Uh, does it cut? Sure. Does it feel sharp? Kind of. But I think there's spots in this blade uh, that came from the factory not sharpened well. It is not. Like the Triad, the Katuo Triad, was an absolute joy to cut with. This one, not so much for me. So, it's kind of a miss. Uh, now, lockup is about like just like a 20, but it's locked up really nicely. No lock rock, no blade play, nothing like that. Uh, it is centered. Um, I mean, yeah, it definitely, there's no blade play. It feels good. It is made fan ugh, gosh and i'm still not great at front flipping it it is made fantastically well let's do our comparisons first here so comparison number one we'll just put the rat one up here which is going to be way smaller i mean the rat two excuse me and then the rat two one gosh rat one rat two rat one is going to be about the same maybe slightly longer um now as far as specs and all that good stuff um Let's put her up here uh, and the price and everything else. This one is $250. It's 8.26 inches overall. I'll put a link down below. 3.5 on the blade, 0.12 on the thickness, and 390, 59 to 61. They call it a drop point, which is interesting. It's like To me, it's like a drop point tanto thing, but okay. Uh, bead blast satin on there. Uh, handle thickness, 0.49. Again, fine. Uh, 4.1 ounces, no problem for me. Um, really interesting, different knife. I don't know, what do you guys think of this one? It's just kind of a miss for me. Um, you know, I, I, I find it interesting. I find it elegant in looks. It's just a miss uh, for me. Uh, and again, you're probably going to say, somebody out there is going to say, you're crazy, I love this thing. Because that's the way it always happens. And I'm 100% okay with that because we all look at things differently. This one is just a miss for me. So let me know what you think down below. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you get notified. And guys, thank you so much for your support. Thanks Lefty for sending this one around. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.